Happy Sunday, guys. Ignore my crazy morning hair. I wanted to show you my cute PJs. These are from pinklily.com, and they're so soft and cozy. They're not too overly warm, but they are warm. And these are like the pumpkin spice ones. So they have like pumpkin spice coffees all over them and different mugs and like little donuts and fall leaves. And also, I have my initials right here. Melissa Lauren Bruner. So yeah, they're so cute, I love them. All right, you guys, today I am making bacon, egg and cheese crescent rolls for brunch. So you're gonna need a thing of crescent roll dough. Um, I've already separated them into their eight triangles. And then I have six, this, I did hickory smoked thick bacon, but you can do whatever kind of bacon you want, but six already um, cooked bacon slices chopped up. And then you wanna make your scrambled eggs. Um, it's four eggs, a little salt and pepper to taste. I also had a little bit of Mrs. Dash, the Italian seasoning, just a little bit for a little extra kick of um, seasoning. And then I'm going to be doing a mix of sharp cheddar and Mexican style blend cheese. And so I'm going to put a tablespoon, I'm actually, it didn't say in the recipe to mix the bacon in with the eggs, but that's what I'm going to do, I'll mix it all together. Then tablespoon it onto the crescent roll in the larger area right here and sprinkle a little cheese and then roll it up like you would a regular crescent roll and I'll show you what they look like before I put them in the oven. I also have the oven preheating at 350. So here they are out of the oven after 20 minutes. They smell so good. Anyone know what movie this is? One of the best Halloween movies to watch, best witch movies, The Craft. 90s amazingness. Lucy's chilling with me too. I'm about to just start looking at some emails, get some stuff done on the computer. So since we had a really yummy brunch and we had like a little snack earlier, we're not really super hungry for dinner. So I had some ingredients in the fridge, including three really ripe avocados to use up. So I decided to make some fresh wok today. So we have avocado, jala uh, fresh jalapeno, fresh tomato, onion, um, some salt and pepper and lime. And yeah, cannot wait to eat this. You guys, I'm at Kohl's, and how cute are these reindeer and snowmen? And they have cute gnomes, too. My goodness, they're so adorable. I like the Santa gnome with his little skate skis on. Oh, look at this little family. Reminds me of Chris, me, and Gavin. <laughs> so much cuteness. guys I just realized that I have so many packages like stacking up in my beauty room that I wanted to share with you guys they are PR packages and a couple of these things I've already used so I can speak to them um, some of these things I have not even opened yet so you guys will get to see my reaction right away this is from pixie beauty and it says get yourself glowing and I have not opened this yet so let's see what is inside hopefully this is easy to open without scissors because Makeup free day, by the way. Okay, oh, I totally know what this is. So every year, Pixie Beauty is so sweet and gives us our very own tonic. So it says, shine in your own light with a personalized glow tonic. And it says, Melissa's glow tonic. They do this every single year and I think it's just so, so sweet of them to do that. And I love the, the glow tonic. I honestly haven't used up my other one quite yet just because, um, 
I've been trying out so many other different toners this year, but this is so awesome. So thank you so much to Pixie for, for doing that. And then, oh my gosh, this package I thought was super cool too from It Cosmetics. Um, first of all, this is a stony, stony clover bag that they sent us and it's a really nice material for travel because it's like easily wiped off and it's like a really nice size and it says your skin but better on the front there and then when you open this up it has some goodies inside so um i also got something from l'oreal that i stuck in here <laughs> okay so first thing they sent was something I've already been using and I really do like it. The Your Skin But Better Setting Spray with Hyaluronic Acid and Coconut Water. So I've been using this for a while now and I really like that. And then they also sent two shades of the Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. And they sent Medium Neutral 31 and Light Warm number 23. So I'm not really sure if either of these will match me because I am starting to get fairer, more and more fair. So there is the foundation. And let's go for the, I don't know, medium neutral sounds like it would be more of my color tone, but this one is supposed to be lighter. Wow, that's dark. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that color. Um, I'll see if I have a friend that can wear that. Um, and then this one, medium neutral. I'll probably just have to contact them and see if they'll send me a lighter shade because both of these are super dark. But really nice packaging has like a... A pump which is really nice very you can tell like it has a nice weight to it it's very nice quality and it says improves bare skin in two weeks water light medium coverage natural radiant finish so if I can get this in my shade I will do a review for you guys but um it was so sweet of them to send this and then they also sent a brush and this is the heavenly skin skin smoothing complexion brush looks really nice like a flat top kabuki i also had a company send me this botanical reboot serum with cbd and it's skincare with cbd oil in it um cruelty free no parabens no sulfates no phylates no artificial colors i have not used this yet hmm this is what it looks like kind of basic packaging use once daily after clean obviously apply one to two drops to fingertips gently press into face Follow with oils, it says. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is cool for travel purposes because it will twist closed so it won't get everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'll have to try this out. I'm just very curious about the use of CBD in like almost everything lately. I'm like, is it really working? I don't know. We'll have to try it out. Okay, L'Oreal came out with a new mascara and I love L'Oreal mascara. Like every time I try a new mascara from them, I nine times out of 10, I love it. So this one is supposed to be very voluminous and it's called Air Volume Mega Mascara. 84% said feels light as air on lashes. Hmm. All right, black is black, thank goodness. And this is what the little tube looks like. Well, we might as well open this because I'm gonna try it out this week. I like the packaging actually. Doesn't look like mascara, but I love the pink metallic packaging. Oh, it's a natural bristle wand, which I love. And it's a very big fluffy wand. So I will give this guy a try this week and let you guys know what I think. All right, we got some BoxyCharm action. I actually have two boxes to share with you because I'm a little bit behind. BoxyCharm is a subscription service and you get usually four to five full-size items every single month. And they're usually really great things that you actually wanna try, like makeup and skincare that is high-end and that you see on Instagram and TikTok and all those places. Um, but anyways, this is, I believe, my September box. Or this one might be my October and this is my September. I'll make sure to list everything down below because on their website it shows the latest box. So if I'm saying it wrong, you guys will see that. Um, okay, so this one looks like there's a huge skincare item in here. So the first thing I see is a skincare item and this is from Grown Alchemist. It's a matte balancing moisturizer with acai berry and burrago. And it says it's a lightweight moisturizer that hydrates facial skin while balancing the skin's oil levels, leaving skin with a matte finish and increased clarity. And this goes for $69. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Like one item and it's already over the price that you pay for the box. It's so awesome. 
Um, so this is what it looks like. So I'm actually gonna leave this moisturizer down here in my beauty room. Usually I would have all my skincare upstairs, but I will also try this out this week, um, especially if it mattifies. Next we have the Ace Beauty Draw It Lip Liner and it is in the shade, oh it just says Lip Liner Duo Set. So first we have So Gorgeous, which looks like it's a really nice red. Oh yeah, that's beautiful, it's like a pinky red. I love this packaging too, right? Isn't that pretty? And then we have more of a nude color. Definitely like a darker nude, like a nice fall nude. And this is in Be Peachy. All right, we'll try those out this week too. Next we have the Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. And this has biomolecular hyaluronic complex with pro-vitamin B5. I definitely think this is something my mom would really like. So I might end up giving this to her, but really pretty packaging. I don't really need more hydration, <laughs> at least not right now. Okay, Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face <laughs> is the, I mean, they put the little, that's what it's called though. Ooh, pretty. So this is highlights, bronzers, and blush palette. Really, really pretty. Seems very pigmented too. Let's just do a little swatchy swatch of the highlight. It's pretty, it's more, oh, that's pretty. It kind of has more of a natural glow. I hope you can see that, it's right here. It's a weird spot to swatch. I don't know why I did it there, but very pretty. And this goes for $32. And last but not least is the Frank Body Glow Mask and it says caffeine. Okay, my second boxy charm I have here to unbox. First thing we have is Phase Zero Blush and Bronzer Trio. These are so awesome. I feel like I've been saying things for travel, but really these are nice to have in your purse or for travel. That bronzer is something that would actually fit me, my fair skin. And then we've got like a really pretty glowy, almost like orgasm from NARS, the blush. And then this is a matte that has more of a um, brighter peachy pink tone to it. And next we have Glam in Paradise gold foil masks infused with cannabis sativa seed oil oh so it's supposed to probably be relaxing and calming They're like sheet masks um so that first item that i just spoke of that is 42 dollars. wow this here the glam in paradise mask set there's three masks in here for 18 dollars. another mascara laura geller the volumizing brush another volumizing natural hair one and this one goes for 24 dollars. and it says bold and oh it says lengthening and curling bold mascara next we have the pharmacy cheer up brightening vitamin c eye cream with cherry how cute that packaging is. I've, I've not tried a ton from Pharmacy, but the things I have tried from them I've enjoyed. Um, and this goes for $45. I can't open it to save my life. There we go. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I have to see if it smells like cherries. It kind of does. Mmm. Smells a lot like the Bite Beauty Lip Mask. That's what it tastes like to me, or that's what it smells like to me. So I love trying new eye creams. So I will let you guys know. It's supposed to be brightening because it has vitamin C and the cherry in it. So I will be trying that out soon. And then last thing in this boxy charm is the Spanglish Alamar Cosmetics Palette. And then here are the colors. These are very, very pretty. I'm not gonna swatch them just because I know myself and I'm not going to use these colors very much even though they're gorgeous. So I will give it to a friend probably or someone that I know will appreciate it like you guys. Um, but wow, that, even though I don't wear purples, those are gorgeous. Really pretty colors. Okay, now Revolution Makeup sent me a huge package, like very, very sweet of them, like so much makeup and skincare that I'm not even gonna go through all this with you guys, but I will start to use this and then I'll review it for you. But they have skincare. This is the um, retinol with rosehip seed oil. There's a vitamin C. There is like body glow products. 
and eyeshadow palettes and oh my gosh baking powders which I know I love this from them um some concealers creams the whole nine yards so I definitely need to just do a look with this this week maybe on the vlog for you guys so earlier I forgot to vlog I did a really cute tiered tray but I took it all apart because um, I wanted to put it in our little coffee area but these came in from this is her shop name the little pink panda by Danny there's her Instagram. I'll link her Etsy below for you guys. But this really cute sign is from her shop and it says, add scream and sugar, please. It's just so cute. And then this little ghost came in a set of three. I'll show you where I put the other two. So here's the other two. They would look really cute in a tiered tray also, which I'll insert a picture I posted on Instagram with them. Um, but I didn't want to take my tiered tray apart since I already had completed that. So next year, they'll definitely be on the bigger one. But they're so cute. All right, guys, these are a few of the products I tried out for the first time today. So I tried out the mattifying moisturizer that I got in the BoxyCharm. Very mattifying. Um, we'll see if it lasts throughout the day, but it's really nice. Then I tried out this Revolution Concealer. It is called Conceal and Define Infinite Crease Proof Long Wear Concealer. I'm in the shade C3. And so far, really good coverage, blended well. Really like these two. Um, this is an eyeliner from Revolution. Also really nice and black, easily went on, and it seems like it's gonna stay really well. So I do like that. This banana powder, nice, like, um, coverage and setting great it's it's a great product just too dark for me i can't use i forgot i can't use banana powder i have to use the lighter alternative so this will go to a friend but it is nice and then i use this lip liner from my boxy charm from ace beauty it is called bpg and i have it on my lips right now this is all i have on my lips it's a really great fall um nude i don't have my brows done yet by the way but my makeup for the most part is done so my mascara I'm wearing is the new L'Oreal one. And I like it. It did transfer a little bit. I have to get that with a Q-tip. I like it, but it's not as voluminous as I like it to be. Um, but yeah, I do like it. And then I also used this Revolution palette. It is called forever flawless really pretty shades um, I have sinner and fever on my lid and then in my crease I have charisma and sweetheart and a little bit of risky um, they blended pretty well pigment was nice especially on the um, sparkly shades like the sheen more sheen, of a sheen not really sparkle um, the mattes are nice but I did feel like I had to blend quite a bit but they they are really nice and I do like the eyeshadow look. All right, you guys, I'm mailing. All right, you guys, I'm mailing the giveaway winners for the corn maze, and then also my voting ballot. So you guys remember when we had our girls trip to Door County, Wisconsin? Well, this amazing winery sent me they're Halloween themed wines and I'm so excited to try these. So this is the winery, the Door Peninsula Winery. And so first they have Witch's Brew. It says a semi-dry grape, plum, and strawberry wine. Then we have Hollow Wine. And this one is an apple wine spiced with cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to try that one especially. And then we have um, American Mummy Moscato. And then they sent me this really cute mug too, which was so sweet of them. It's a hollow wine, <laughs> super cute mug. So I'm gonna try these out and let you guys know what I think, but can we just say how cool, they get an A plus for packaging, right? And creativity. So I'll be trying these out this week at some point and I'll share them with you. Also, I will leave all the information down below because you can order these wines online. Now, not all states are ship, are able to be shipped to, so you may not be able to, but I will make sure to list down below um, what states they do ship to and a link to their website so you guys can order your own hollow wine before it's Halloween time. So I'm about to take my makeup off for the night, but this makeup actually lasted really well. Pretty creaseless, oof, my nose area though. <laughs> That's not the makeup's fault. 
As you can see though, it's way too yellow under my eyes. Um, but the, the mascara lasted pretty well and the eyeshadow. I'm making creamy Parmesan chicken spaghetti with roasted tomato and basil. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here, you guys. I roasted the tomatoes. I'm about to plate the second bowl here, but this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I found this creamer at Target the other day, and it's new for Christmas, and it's elf-themed, and it is the Caramel Waffle Cookie, Buddy the Elf's Caramel Waffle Cookie. Love the packaging, and it smells... Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like ice cream to me. It smells like Cold Stone. If you've ever been to Cold Stone, like when you walk in, it smells just like um, that. I made an eight ounce cup of coffee in my little travel mug because I'm gonna take it to work. Okay, I think I told you guys last week that I'm doing an American Horror Stories project on my Instagram and I'm doing an inspired post from almost every season. There's nine seasons and nine seasons and I think I'm gonna be doing either six or seven photos, like one picture every day of the week, of the week of Halloween. So right now I am doing the one from Inspired by Hotel and the Lady Gaga character is who this is, this look is inspired by. And I will link the picture or just my Instagram down below. I had these really cool, these really cool like blinged out little nails to put on all of my fingers but they were really, really large. Like this was the only one that would fit. So I went with it. Tonight I'm making another HelloFresh meal. I made the sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry with cilantro and crispy onions. And this is what it looks like. It smells super, super good. Seriously, I have not been disappointed by HelloFresh. I continue to get them. We love these meals. Hey guys, I left my hair curly again today. Just didn't have time to straighten it, but I have my little clip in today and then this sweater is so fun I think I did show you when it came in but it's this skull sweater and it has like these little rips in it it's just so fun so casual Friday today because we don't have any patients coming into the office I'm just going to work to catch up on stuff I need to catch up on all right <laughs> see you guys later okay I'm about to go into Target um, because everyone's telling me that the Christmas stuff is already out at the Target dollar spot, which I can't believe because usually it's the first week of November. So I'm going to start looking and if I find stuff, I'll, I will make a separate video so you guys won't see it in this vlog, but you'll see it soon. I'm at Michael's and the Christmas decor is so cute. Look at these pillows. So cute. Not getting any, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at those tree collars. Okay, they have so many new garlands this year, you guys, but this one is what I'm getting because I'm doing a tree in our kitchen this year, and this is so perfect. And if you love gnomes, there's one with little gnomes on it, a garland. My brother's um, girlfriend Haley is gonna go crazy for this. And then I also love this one with the little, if for the laundry room with Santa's clothes. And then there's also this one with like all the reindeer. And yep, you guessed it, Rudolph. So cute. And there's also one with little gingerbread men. You guys, gingerbread house, little stocking holders, so cute. They also have nutcracker ones. <laughs> I love how Halloween decor surrounds me and I'm watching Hallmark Christmas movies. Yep, no shame, no shame in this game. It started this weekend, you guys, new movies. This is not a new movie, but new movies are starting this weekend for Christmas, Countdown to Christmas with Hallmark. And it makes me so happy. I can't wait for Christmas. All right, you guys, tonight I'm gonna try the hollow wine from the Door County, Door Peninsula Winery. So this wine is a semi-sweet apple wine spiced with cinnamon and nutmeg, and it says best served warm. So I put a little bit in my hollow wine mug already and warmed it up, and let's give it a taste test. All right, 
Cheers, witches. <laughs> That is so different in a really, really good way. Wow, I've never had a wine that makes me feel so fall and cozy. I'm not kidding. This tastes delicious. If you like like cinnamon and nutmeg and spices with apple, then you get this warmth after from the wine. Um, wow, that's really nice. I really like this one. So we still have the Mummy Moscato to try and the Witch's Brew. So I will try those on next week's vlog. Mm.